Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you've watched my previous video on tips for flying with a service dog, you will already know that Skidboard and I are preparing for an international trip, which is coming up pretty quick. So today I'm going to do a video on what I'm packing for him. Just a backpack where I have all his gear um, when I go with my truck to town or somewhere. And it's um, it's one of these tactical ones. It's really handy. It has lots of space. I love it. But since I'm gonna have my own backpack to carry at the airport, I'm gonna put all his gear into my carry-on suitcase, which is just a little suitcase. I'm not putting anything or not a lot into my checked bag. Just because I'm always a bit worried stuff is not going to get there or not in time and then I'm kind of, well, stuck without his stuff. So all his gear is going into that purple suitcase and I'll have my little carry-on backpack and then I'll have a check bag for just my stuff and uh, whatever else I can't fit into his little suitcase. The most important thing to bring, especially when traveling internationally, is all of your dog's paperwork. This folder contains all of Skid's vet records, the official non-commercial health cer certificate for Switzerland, I can't even talk anymore, which uh, I had to fill out, well, the vet usually does it, but I did it myself, and then the vet did a health check and signed it, and then he was couriered to the CFIA, Canadian Food Inspection Agency vet in Prince George, who had to go over it and authorize it and stamp it and all that. And that's what I'm going to need to enter both the European Union and Switzerland with Skidboot. I also have his two rabies certificates with me. Um, I printed out the terminal maps from Frankfurt and Vancouver. And in Vancouver, of course, I want to know where the pet relief areas are. There is none in Frankfurt, so he's going to have to go potty on a potty pad in a washroom. Um, some emails back and forth that I had with customs and immigration and Air Canada and Lufthansa. So everything's in here. The service animal forum from Air Canada is in here. Um, there's one for Lufthansa as well, actually two, one for each flight. So I put everything in here, including my itinerary. So it's all together. Another important thing that I'm bringing is some medication for Skid. I started giving him, it's called South, South Silking, I think it's called Silking, which is actually a natural um, calming medication. You can look it up on the internet. Um, it promotes and enhances relaxed behavior in pets. So it's not a sedative because it's not good to sedate your dog while flying, but it just takes the edge off a little bit because flying is stressful for us too. Maybe I should take some. Um, the vet also gave me what's called Serenia, which prevents upset stomach. So he's going to get one about two hours before our first flight, just in case. I'm not going to feed him that morning, but still, it's just to be on the safe side. And this is insurance as well. It's called ProSooth. Just in case he gets diarrhea, I can give him some of this to help him, you know, get back to normal. So good thing to have. We want to be prepared. We don't want to have any accidents because, like I said, traveling is stressful. So we want to try and minimize what we can. I'm going to be bringing all of Skidboot's food. We're only gone for about 12 days. So I've checked with customs in Switzerland. Um, I'm allowed to bring his food, like dry kibble. Uh, they just wanted it packed in its original package. So I just took out what I don't need. 
and the rest I put or I left in the bag. And this is going in my suitcase. But I'm also bringing extra food in a Ziploc bag that I labeled with the manufacturer's label. I asked them to send me labels. And that's going in my carry-on just in case we get stuck at the airport, we have delays. Um, I don't want to be running around the airport looking for dog food. So that's going in my carry-on. Also bought some cheap metal dog bowls that are going to go in my check bag. I'm actually going to leave them at my mom's in Switzerland because I don't need them at home. I have plenty of bowls here, so they're just going to go on a one-way trip. So now I'm going to show you what Skid's going to be wearing for our trip. He's going to wear his Kurgo onesie and for several reasons. It's to keep him clean. Airports are not exactly clean, or especially planes are not. It um, keeps him warm on the, air on the airplane because airplane floors are pretty cold once you're up in the air especially. And it's also to reduce shedding. He doesn't shed a lot, but still as a courtesy to the other passengers, I want to reduce any you know amount of shedding that I can. So there's not hair everywhere. If he shakes, then it's not going to fly everywhere either. So that's what he's going to wear. And then he's going to wear his... I can open it up. Designer Doodle Custom Vest. Designer Doodle is a Canadian gear maker. I'm going to link all this stuff below. Um, I love this vest. It's, it's very professional. It's, so that's what he's going to wear. He's also going to wear his booties from Mutlux. These are called the Mutt Trackers. If you guys can see that. The lighting is really bad in here because the sun is kind of coming through the window behind me. He's going to wear a bandana. I haven't quite decided yet which one, but probably one of the sunflower ones. These are from Stormy Soko. Um, I also have a blue one. He's going to wear his service dog collar which is also from Stormy Soko. He's gonna wear his regular collar, if I can find it. There it is. And this one is from uh, Practically Famous Leather. It's Biothan. I like that because it's easy to clean and it has all his tags on, his rabies tag, his name tag. He's a service dog tag. I'm gonna bring my Biathan leash, which is again from Practically Famous Leather, and the leash wrap is from Designer Doodle. I'm also bringing a hands free leash, again from Practically Famous Leather, and his harness. This is just a cheap one, it's called Eglu. It's from Amazon and that's what I actually use when we're in the car so I can strap them in but Lufthansa has it on their um, sheet that they send you when you uh, travel with a service dog and they prefer you have a harness and I guess it's not a bad idea. First of all, it's more comfortable. I'll probably switch him once we're up in the air or even before that. Um, once we're on the international flight, I'll probably take his vest off and I'll put him in his harness because then I can easier hold on to him if he slides to the towards the back a bit and uh, it's more comfortable for him he, he has more movement in this during a long flight because it's a 10 hour flight the international one I'm also bringing an extra vest just in case something happens to the other one and it's just a cheap one off of Amazon it's a um, dog line it's called and yeah I bought some patches this one actually is from Designer doodle. The other ones are just off of Amazon. So just a lightweight vest, a mesh vest. Extra leashes, just in case anything happens to the other ones. It's just my regular leash with, again, the uh, leash wrap from Designer Doodle. An extra hands-free one. The leashes are from Practically Famous Leather. Extra collar. Oh, and of course, he's also going to wear a Marty Gill collar and uh, an extra one of those as well. I'll link everything below from where I got it from. I'm also bringing his y front harness. Some of you may have seen the unpacking, unboxing video that I did. 
it's from Stormy Soco and uh, I love it with the sunflowers and the blue I think it's gorgeous and it's great for hotter days so that's gonna go in my hand luggage and I'm bringing a couple extra bandanas just for the fun because I love bandanas this is a raincoat it's all nicely packaged up so really small I'm also bringing a safety vest for night walks which reminds me and one of these collars that you could like collars that you can turn on they're pretty handy I'm bringing an extra set of boots or I guess you call it a set it's four of them again for Mudlux and I'm not sure what these ones are called but I'll find out and I'll link it below socks for Mudlux it makes the boots more comfortable treat bag I love this one it's got lots of room so I got two types of treats in here um, I got some paperwork in here like extra copies and even his um, collapsible bowls water food bowls they fit right in here I got two of them I also have lots of food packs of course I keep them everywhere in my backpack in my treat bag and I'm bringing potty pads uh, disposable gloves, paper towels, all in a Ziploc bag, just in case of an emergency. But as well, um, when we get to Germany, Frankfurt airport, there is no pet relief area. So after a 10 hour flight, he probably needs to go potty. So I'll just have to take him to a washroom and then he has to go really himself on a potty pad. And sometimes pet relief areas are really disgusting. So your dog may prefer going on a potty pad. I'm going to bring toys, his favorite toys. Um, I'm gonna bring three only one of them I'm actually gonna have in my little backpack that he's gonna get on the plane it's a silent squeaker one it's really cute I think it's off Amazon the other two are just gonna go in his little suitcase but he won't get them until we get to our destination I'm also bringing one of his favorite balls it's just a rubber one and a tuck toy grooming tools brushes and a little rake, um, comb, whatever you call those. I'm also bringing a small towel and a face cloth just in case I need to dry them off or anything. And a first aid kit. Make sure there's nothing in it that you can't take through security. Um, anything like it needs to go into your little plastic bag. I'm also bringing a biofin long line just for what we go for walks and he doesn't have to work he can just be a dog but it's in unfamil familiar territory so I'd much rather he's on a leash than not dog wipes very important that way you can clean your dog off um, if he gets dirty I'm also bringing a lint roller to clean up hair if needed the only thing our Canada allows as extra for service dogs is a blanket or a travel mat I already have it in the truck so I'll just uh, post a picture but they don't allow an extra bag for service dogs I'm also bringing treats of course I got some extra milk bones these are these are easy to break into small pieces and Skid loves them I'm bringing some high-value treats these are dried liver. These are Oinky smoked pigskin twists. They're just two sticks and uh, yeah, they're, they'll, I'll give you one on the trip and then the rest is going to be for our stay in Switzerland. I also have calming treats. This is a whole antler chew. And that's going to be for a trip. And I bought a Nyla bone. So I think we should be set. Lufthansa requires you to bring a muzzle for your dog. It doesn't say that the dog has to wear it, but I think they just want to be proactive in case there's an incident with your dog. So be sure you bring one and be sure your dog is used to wearing it. I'm also bringing one of these uh, seatbelt straps. And uh, I, I use these in a truck so I can tie Skid in with his harness. I can attach this to his leash or his harness, even uh, 
if it's long, it's probably not long enough. Well, maybe it is. I guess you can make it quite long. And then I can just hook it to my seat belt on the plane. I'm also bringing a slip lead that has no metal at all. And I'm going to be using that when I go through security in Zurich because in Zurich I'm going to have to ungear him completely. They told me that if your dog sets off, or anything on your dog's gear sets off the metal detector, he has to be ungeared. And I don't want to have a loose dog in that busy airport, so I'm just going to use the slip lead to have him in a sit stay while I walk through and then call him to me. In Prince George I'm not concerned because first of all they don't, don't ask me to strip him, I already checked. And it's not very busy, so I think he'll be fine. I think that's it. Um, I'm pretty sure Skid has more gear than me, but that's usually the way it is. I don't need much. Um, I'm going to be wearing half the stuff that my sister lends me, so... Yeah. Anyhow, I uh, it's my first trip with a service dog, uh, like internationally on planes, three flights. So I hope everything goes well. I hope I don't forget anything, but I think I'm pretty well prepared. I'm gonna try and get lots of footage from our trip and also from our, you know, little vacation in Switzerland and uh, so be sure to check back. See ya!